Hello and welcome to today's video where we'll be taking a closer look at NordVPN. One of the most popular virtual private network services on the market. We'll be diving into its features, performance, and pricing to help you decide if it's the right VPN for you. First off, let's talk about the features of NordVPN. NordVPN has over 5,400 servers in 59 countries which is an impressive number of servers that offers plenty of options for users looking for a reliable VPN service. The service offers multiple protocols, including OpenVPN, IKEV2 IPSEC, and NordLynx, which is a new protocol developed by NordVPN that is based on the WireGuard protocol. The NordVPN app is easy to use and offers a clean and simple interface. The app is available on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS, and even has browser extensions for Chrome and Firefox. The app also offers a kill switch feature, which automatically disconnects you from the internet if your VPN connection drops, ensuring that your data remains secure. Now let's talk about NordVPN's performance. NordVPN offers fast speeds and reliable connections, making it a great choice for streaming content and gaming. The service also offers unlimited bandwidth and data, so you don't have to worry about hitting any data caps. In terms of security, NordVPN offers robust encryption and security features. The service uses AES-256 GCM encryption, which is considered to be one of the strongest encryption standards available. NordVPN also offers a double VPN feature which routes your traffic through two servers instead of one, adding an extra layer of security. Now let's talk about pricing. NordVPN offers several pricing plans, with the most popular being the two-year plan, which costs $89. NordVPN also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try the service risk-free. Finally, let's talk about NordVPN's customer support. NordVPN offers 24 by 7 customer support through live chat and email. The service also has an extensive knowledge base that provides answers to common questions and troubleshooting tips. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.